Hello and welcome to Wall Street Training's Quick and Dirty Trading Comps Analysis Course. Wall Street Training provides financial modeling, valuation modeling, mergers and acquisitions, merger and leverage buyout modeling courses to corporations through public open enrollment seminars and self-study video-based learning. My name is Hamilton Lin, President and Founder of Wall Street Training, and I will be an instructor throughout this course. My background is primarily in investment banking, mergers and acquisitions, having worked at Goldman Sachs' Investment Banking Research, Bank of America Securities' Mergers and Acquisitions Group, and several other boutique investment banks, again, all focused on m and I'm a CFA charter holder as well as a CFA instructor. The goal of this course, our Quick and Dirty Trading Comps, is to build a Quick and Dirty Back of the Envelope Trading Comps Analysis or Analysis of Selected Publicly Traded Companies. What this means is you, this will allow you to build and construct a relative valuation analysis in which you look at multiples as well as analyzing your peers. Our complex trading comps course, which follows this course, will take what we learned today, which is only focused on the basic and introduction to how to construct this comps analysis. We take that to the next level and we go through all the nuances of normalizing the financials for restructuring, non-recurring, and one-time items. So please make sure you follow this course with the complex trading comps, which is the correct way to properly and precisely build our analysis. As always, anytime we're in Excel, we will be extremely keyboard and shortcut oriented. So please, once again, make sure you have our Wall Street Training add-in macros installed, as well as having changed your background to gray. Refer to our video-based instruction and handouts for more information. This course does assume that you have a basic understanding of accounting, knowledge of Excel, and fundamental concepts in finance and valuation. Prerequisites for this course include our accounting and financial statements integration course, company profiles, corporate valuation methodologies, that is absolutely critical, as well as a company overview and the basic financial modeling courses, building it in Excel so we get used to Excel as well as getting good understanding of the trading comps. It is very important that you have already gone through our corporate valuation methodologies course in which you gain the background information and the theory as well as having seen it in the bigger picture of why we need this trading comps analysis. Whereas here, we will be focused on building it in Excel, going through the nuances and the inputs, as well as some basic number crunching and calculations. So please make sure you have gone to our corporate valuation course, as well as our company overview course, in which you have built already a very quick trading statistics page, in which we will now expand that to incorporate our competitors and our peers. Obviously also, make sure you have a hard copy of the Wall Street analyst estimates that have been provided to you in the information file. Let's turn to our Excel now. Let me walk you through that. Walmart and our other retailers, their year ends. Let's make that a little smaller. Their year ends January 31st, let's say 06. Then in the next year, you have January 31st, 07. Costco, on the other hand, their fiscal year ends the end of August, let's say August 31st, 06. So their 12 months ending August 31st, technically it's August 29th, will end somewhere right here. However, if we were to use Walmart's last fiscal year actual, that will be that number. If you were to use Costco's, it will be this number. However, as of the date of this analysis, which per our cell E7, the date of this analysis is as of April 10th, 2006. Therefore, as of that date, Costco's August 31st, 06 numbers have not yet been report it because they're about four, five, six months off. So therefore, we want to capture the same time period for Costco. We need this number as of January 31st, 06. For Costco, that means that their last fiscal year that was true actuals ended when? August 31st, 05. So therefore, what this means is, 
Oh, and by the way, this is going to be as of January 31st, 05, right here. So in order to capture Walmart's equivalent of the 12 months ending January 31st, 06, we need two sets of numbers. We need the, uh, is it seven months? Yes, we need the seven months of Costco ending August 31st. Why seven months? Because from, let's say, January 1st, 30, uh, 31st, 05, so that's February, March, April, May, June, July, all the way through the end of August. Seven months of August 35 actual numbers. Plus the five months, plus the five months that ended, that will end projected wise August 31st, 06. Because those five months are right there. Does that make sense? Let me redraw this. So it's a little bit clearer. For Walmart, their last actuals is January 31st, 06. For Costco, their last actuals is 8.31, technically 8.26.05. Their next projected period, per the Wall Street Analyst Estimates, for Costco ends 831.06. Now, in order to capture the equivalent of Walmart's 12 months, I need this set. Recall that this will be January 31st, 05, and this will be January 3106. So therefore, I need the seven months here. That again is February, March, April, May, June, July, and August. Seven months of that actual number. Plus five months, because now I have all of September, October, 11, uh, 11, November, December, and all of January. That's the five months of this projected period. So in order to capture the equivalent of Walmart's 12 months ending January 31st, 06, I will take Costco's seven months, we're going to prorate it, of the full 831.05 year, plus five months of the estimated party analyst projections of the 831.06 year. That is how we will now input these numbers for the equivalent of the 2005 calendar year projections because we have different fiscal year ends. Likewise, we will do the same thing for the next two projected periods. Just pretend instead of this being 05, pretend this is 06, pretend that this now is 06, January 31st, 07, and this is 06, this is 07, 07. You get the point. So we constantly roll the seven months of the current plus five months of the next. Okay?